Yo, hello everyone. In the world of remote work, collaboration is the key. This tutorial in 2023 will show you how to connect Notion to Slack. By doing so, you can enhance team communication and streamline project management, creating a more cohesive and productive work environment. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, so we can launch our tutorial, we need to have two apps or two applications or two accounts registered and ready to start with. We need to have our Notion account in the Notion.so opened and ready to go. And we need our Slack application ready to go as well. You can even open the Slack on your browser as, as your own like workspace or our your own uh, account so now uh, what are we going to do is simply head up first to the notion connections to do so here sometimes it will not be able to show in this page so make sure to click whatever for example into the search or into the private or any templates anywhere around here and try to click into these three points and see if it's going to change the menu itself so here we have the connections make sure to click on them and then click on manage connections right so over here you click on see all after that click on it and then all these apps will open for you and now right through here you will have slack into this section click on it and then all you have to do next is connect it to your account now as you can see i'm going to choose another uh, workspace as an example this one and then allow it to give it all of these uh, like permissions and then allow access and then after that we will be ready to go so success a new notion workspace was connected as you can see here it is so now we have uh, success so hey notion slack integration allows you to easily share context get notified on work progress and create new tasks see our help documentation for more information so here let's create their own uh, integration and video here that explains everything uh, and the blog to know more how to set it up and how can it help us exactly so first of all here you can set it up using these simple methods so here you only need to install the slack integration once to get all its functionality across your workspace while using slack and notion together you will be offered the option to install the integration at the following places when you paste a link from notion into slack you will receive prompt to connect notion from the databases three points menu at the top right click slack notifications you will be prompted to connect slack while setting up a notification when setting up personal notifications by going to settings and members go to notifications and then slack notifications and add new accounts you can also install the integration from their integration gallery here now how to send messages to notion from like send slack messages to notion how can we do that now when slack messages turn into next step send them right to a notion database so they don't get lost here is how click next to any slack message so let's do that i'm going to send here for example into my channels here hello and here you will notice the three points and here i have sent to notion and here i have to choose a database so search a database to pass the link here for example a journal and here a tutorial and here save and here we go so now there is one reply which says he has created a page from this message let's check our account on here and here we have the journal let's open it up and here it is the tutorial page that I have created using the uh, slack message as you have seen over here it is pretty easy guys as you saw there is nothing difficult about it it's pretty straightforward you just have to go ahead and send the message click on the three points and then that will be happening let's do that again and check if it's going to work again so hello 
and now I'm going to write something like specific. So, tutorial for everyone. Okay. So here, let's check it again. I don't really have tutorial for everyone in this journal. So let's do that. Three points. Since the notion journal. And let's name it, for example, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Confirm, save, and here we go. Leave a like and subscribe has been created using that, literally that message. It is very easy guys to do so. You can't really now lose any messages since you have this option turned on. Now, in case you are interested in doing any other optimization, you can actually use other, other softwares as Zapier. Zapier will help you a lot to make any mod like automation you want. As an example, when a message sent from a sent in Slack, create page in Notion. Let's generate and let's see if it's gonna happen. So let's give it some time. Here we go. Get Notion page from Slack messages. Try it out. Let's wait a little bit. Trigger. So here we have to connect into our Slack account. Let's give them the access to our new workspace. Allow them. Continue. general continue and let that test it out so we started collecting messages on your account we'll find the most recent one to confirm triggers is set up correctly so let's send hi zapier test trigger and it worked it is simply working now so all we need to do is go here continue and now we are on our notion account let's choose our account. Um, let's go with this one. Continue. Let's choose a value which is journal. Let's wait a little bit. Uh, it can take some time. Here I need to choose for example hello. Let me just actually change the account to this one. And now to the actions I can change it to whatever I want. So let me just choose the account. I have changed it. Uh, I can here edit connection name as it is. Continue. Here we go. Everything is working perfectly. So let's continue. And let's skip the test. Skip test. As, as you can see, I can publish it. Let's wait. And now we have the zap working on. So now each time I try to go and like make any message here it will directly make a page in Notion without even asking me. But that will take a little bit of time since I just have created that. Uh, it will still need uh, too many times to actually do that. But this is yeah, how it works. So this is what I wrote, uh, the message that I have written. And here it is. So new Slack message. A new message was posted in the Notion channel by theme. And yeah, this is in general how it works, guys. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.